Today's evil challenge, man against fish, or rather, giant fish. I got one. If someone can pull me out. A fight that only one can survive. Green, buddy. In the end, only one thing counts in noodling. Who's got the biggest? Will evil triumph? Evil's en route to Paul's Valley, USA. This burg of 6,000 residents puts on the biggest noodling contest of all. Well, my goal for the tournament is to come into the top 10, but having never done it before, it'll be kind of tough. Luckily, Evil doesn't have to go it alone. A real champion will be introducing him to the fine art of noodling. Well, you want to come in for a minute and uh, go over a game plan for today and stuff? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Oh, shit. That's a lot of trophies. Oh, uh, yeah. Catfish. Nate has been wading through the mud of the local rivers and lakes since childhood and has wrestled with the biggest catfish of all. Some pretty good ones. Oh, yeah, that's a good size. Noodling means catching the biggest fish with bare hands. All right, so what's our plan? Well, I figured today we just go out and maybe see if we can find some little fish and uh, let you practice some, show you how to grab them, talk about it, and get you comfortable in the water and ready for the tournament. OK, and you got a, uh, you got a spot in mind? Yeah. Day after tomorrow, Evil and Nate might also see their names on such a big fat check. Because they're entering as a team, luckily that the fishing license Evil needs is available at the local supermarket. Long live America. But one thing is still missing, the big fish. Won it last year with a 61 pounder and I've been 61 coming. pounds is quite a bit, yeah? Yeah, it's a big fish. You only catch one or two of them every, every year or two. Next morning, the streets in Paul's Valley have been swept clean for the world's biggest noodling tournament is about to begin, and many are already splashing around in the waters of Oklahoma. Evil and Nate, too, are already on the road. All right, so the noodling tournament is now officially underway, and us and the other about 100 competitors now have 36 hours uh, to go out and catch the biggest fish that we can. Nate's golf cart takes them to his exclusive and secret spots more easily. All right, so you think this is a spot? I think so. Oh, we're right on the water. Yes, Oh, that's sir. awesome. Yep, a new day, a new mud hole, where the catfish play. So, see that concrete down there? Yep. That should be some really good holes. So, it's into the swamp, where some nasty alligator turtles can also be lurking. But with them, one bite's enough to take your hand off. Look. Can't tell if I'm throwing a fish or not in there. I think I might be. Okay. You got something? Maybe. A perfect hidey hole for the catfish. Too perfect. For Nate just can't get in. Change of plan. All right, I'm blocking the hole now so he can't get out. And Nate's going to go up and try and, and uh, coax him out from the top. He won't be able to hide anymore. Noodling is something for real men. Filthy holes, slippery skirmishes, mud wrestling. There's two of them. We try to grab them. <clears throat> Maybe the jackpot, but. Okay, hey, Jared. Yeah, I got I got the one's head. You got the head now? I got the head, but I can't pin it down. Don't let him out. Oh, hang on. Did you get him? No. All right, so we got him trapped in this pipe. I can't grab him very well from this end, but I'm going to try and go around to the other end, switch with Nate. Nate's going to block him, and I'm going to try and drop down the pipe and pull him out. Nate takes over the easy part. Evil the worst of the dirty work. And that means into the pitch black pipe and noodling with his fist. Ah, 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 got him, got him. Ah, I got one. 
If someone can pull me out. For the tournament. All right. Awesome. All right, you grab him up, stringer him. Let me go for the next one. All right, go back in and I'll hold on to him. Okay. A big fat fish. Okay, got him. Is the other one even bigger? He's smaller. You got him. All right, but this guy's not. Good job. Whoever thought fishing was always meditative and relaxing now knows better. You don't know how big they are, what they got in mind, but I reached in and managed to pull this guy out of there. It sounded like a war in there. I could hear it. Yeah, every time I tried to get him by the tail. Okay. So I don't know, we got up to what, like 24, 25 pounds today? Yeah. All right, so, uh, that's not really championship material, but last year when you won, you didn't catch your winning uh, fish until Saturday, right? Right, Saturday morning. Okay, so we got uh, we still got one day, and with every new day, there's fresh hope. Yep. All right, so I think we did okay for today. I think so. Saturday morning, last chance to make a really good haul. Nate and Evil try their luck in a lake. Catfish also like still waters, only it's hard to get out of bed. Every bone and muscle aches. Noodling. Sure ain't the same as fishing. All right, so it is, uh, it's tournament day now. We got about six hours before uh, weigh-in closes out. And so far what we've got is those two fish from yesterday. Yeah. Pretty small, probably not, uh, not podium material. The difficulty in the lake, coming up against water lilies and their long tendrils. And visibility is once again, crap. Good. You there? Good. Oh, there you are. Didn't know where you went for a minute. The water lily thicket offers a perfect hiding place. At first, the guys find nothing, but Nate has a trick up his sleeve. In the middle of the lake, there are stone formations with caves. And, yes, indeed. Oh, there's one in there. Okay. Good thing is, I felt the head and a tail. Okay. So there's two, two. Fish. All right. You want me to try to get the first one and you get the second one? Yep. It's their chance. Except it's impossible to see anything in the lake because it's so murky. All right. Hang on. Breathe, buddy. That's a good caliber. Uh, that's the biggest one we've caught so far. Yep. But something's not quite right. He's not looking real great. We better get him in that some good water. Okay. Looks like a snake or something. Still, the catfish has to survive until the contest. Evil goes to pull out the second one. The lake is only two meters deep, but in the murky water, he can only see 30 centimeters ahead. I didn't feel anything. Did you anything? But Evil's never supposed to lose, is he? At least not yet, because this one could be even bigger. Okay. That's a good one. That's not a bad size one either. String it on the line and haul it out of the lake. Check for another one or do you just... These are the biggest ones we've got so far, okay. so we want to try to I mean, it's so hot today. It's like 100 degrees. And the heat ain't good for them, right? No, we, want, cause we probably want to just try to get them in the truck as soon as we can and just take care of them. And Possibly the strictest rule in noodling, the fish must survive until the contest award ceremony. This one looks like he could be close to 50. The chance of making it under the winner's podium, if the juggernaut only survives. Nate is relying on that and on his truck's fresh fish cooling system. These guys didn't put up much of a fight in the hole, and they really didn't look that great once we got them out of the water. Catfish are robust, but the temperature and the chase have taken their toll. The refrigeration system and the fresh air flow should perk them up. But... And I don't think he's making it. Let's get these guys looking a little better, head over to the tournament, and see if we can get them laid in. 
They can both feel death at the door, so to speak. Four fish. But are they all alive? Ah, uh, he's not looking so hot. Ooh. Oh no, he ain't moving a whole lot. No. Oh, stiff as a board. Yeah, he's not gonna work, I don't think. Despite all their efforts, the first 20 kilo plus Colossus didn't make it. Will evil lose today? Shame. That was the biggest one we had. But even with noodling, the show must go on. The second fish from the lake did make it. Okay, well, you know, this isn't gonna be a win or anything, but you know, I'm not too upset for a first time noodling. At least we didn't come home empty handed. Now it's down to weighing, marking, and waiting. How many kilos does Evil's second catch actually weigh? Twenty-seven point eight five pounds. Big round of applause for her, please. He puts an acceptable face on the matter. So the fact that we're going back to the truck indicates to me we didn't make it in the top ten. All that's left is the good old Olympic sentiment to have been there is everything. For now come the real giants. And here we've got nothing more to say. These beasts definitely weigh more. The worst of it is that the duo's chances were good if the Grim Reaper hadn't beaten them to it. As you can see, sixth place there is 47, and we had one that was at 47 we pulled out of the, the lake this morning that was right there. So, you know, depending on a couple of ounces, we would have been up on the podium. And then comes an even bigger one. Huge. First place. So what do you think, Nate, after coming in first place last year, not even placing this year? Hey, I feel like come I, on, man. I feel like he drug you down. Yeah, I feel like I drug like down the entire team. Some salt in it? <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing, but uh, we had fun and we tried our hardest. I'll tell you what, after three days in the creek, we smell as bad as any of these winners up on stage. Yes, yes, we probably uh, do. So we can be proud of that. Poking around in mud holes, fighting with giant fish, all tough, badass, manly stuff. Didn't win this time, but it was fun. Thanks, Evil.